tropical storm Brett impacted St. Lucia on June 22, 2023. St. Lucia Met Services recorded wind speeds ranging from 50 to 60 miles per hour with at least 71.1 millimeters of rainfall. Damage assessments in the various sectors across the island is continuing. The NEMO can report on some of the preliminary assessments from various reporting agencies. In the education sector, 19 school plans sustained damage to windows, roofs, water storage, and perimeter fencing. The Bexar Primary, Morgouge, Bellevue Combined, and Viewfort Primary Schools were among the more severely damaged buildings. All of the affected school plans have since resumed normal classroom instructions. The agricultural sector reported 75.8% of banana crop was impacted by tropical storm Brett. Regions 4, 3, and 8 were the most severely impacted by the storm, recording a 90% loss in region 4 and 80% loss in regions 3 and 8 respectively. Regions 2, 5, and 7 suffered a loss of 60%, 75% and 70% respectively. Based on the assessment, it can be reported that the banana and the plantain industries were severely impacted by the passage of tropical storm Brett. In the aquaculture subsector, large quantities of cultivated sea moss were washed away from farms in Pralin, Savans Bay and Opican. In the forestry subsector, 50 hectares of the government reserves were damaged. The government's nursery in Larissus Viewfort under the Southeast Coast project was destroyed. There was moderate damage in the livestock subsector. The Department of Infrastructure noted fallen trees and block drains, which have since been cleared. A few rock slides occurred on the West and East Coast roads. The pre-hurricane mitigation program of tree trimming and drain desilting is continuing. Damage assessment for the housing sector is ongoing whilst minimal damages were reported in the tourism sector. The major utility companies have reported all systems are up and running. Nemo appeals to all to continue with preparedness measures to save lives and property as we are in the hurricane season, which officially ends on November 30th, 2023. Please remain vigilant and make it a habit to monitor weather information issued by the Met Services.